What's going on, Jerome? So everyone and their mom knows Chris Sims. NBC Sports uh, does a show with Florio that's not a thermos. And, of course, Chris Sims, son of Boomer Esiason, uh, made Roy Williams famous in the Red River. River. Used to be the Red River shootout, right? Hmm. Uh, But Sims, you know, the, the lefty. There you go. Also, you know, Chris Sims is the one who got her hopes up about Kellen Mond for back in the day. I don't know what it is. Maybe just crappy quarterbacks from Texas schools. They stick together. The thickest thieves. T-H-I-C-C. Mm. But also, you had Zach Wilson, number one. And, I mean, this 2021 class is starting to look very poopy. I mean, the best quarterback is Trevor Lawrence, and he's looking mid as hell. So, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. Th- things are not looking good uh, for that class. But Sims uh, put out his 2024 mock draft in conjunction with their guy, Connor Rogers. Uh, now, before we dive in, we've got to take a look back at 2023. So, by and large, Sims was fine uh, on this. Bryce Young went one. You know, a lot of people were overhyped on Tyree Wilson. He went two, uh, but ended up seven uh, with the Raiders. Uh, Anderson ended up at three, but obviously not with the Cardinals, with the Texans making moves. Now, he did miss, just like everyone else, Will Levis. And Levis fell out of the first round, first selection of the second round with the Tennessee Titans, but sort of is what it is. Uh, Spoon up there. I- I'm really glad that Spoon is not with the Lions. That's all, man. Stroud fell to the Falcons, which, I don't know, could have worked out, sure. Uh, then also Anthony Richardson falling all the way down to 12 to Houston. So, like, the, the main players are there, just sort of shaking up, right? And also no one ever is going to bat 1,000. No one is ever going to bat 300. Uh, on mock drafts, uh, considering uh, trades as well as different teams had different boards and all that stuff. Uh, where he did miss is Hendon Hooker, 23. Now, the Vikings um, could have been in the quarterback market last year, even with Kurt Cousins finishing out his contract. Now, the Vikings could have scooped uh, and uh, uh, sticked and picked and take uh, taken Will Levis, but hmm. now the, the main miss here is well, Hendon Hooker ended up being a third round pick by the Lions, you know, coming off that ACL, uh, coming out of the, the Lulu offense with Tennessee. Is what it is, uh, as well as, of course, uh, no, no Jordan Addison in this one. And yeah, that, that, that turned out pretty well uh, for the Vikings at uh, 23. Uh, now, getting into the 2024 version. So, Williams Daniels, I, I feel like it, if you could find a spot to put a couple of jelly beans down on Williams Daniels as, as, a, as a parlay, I feel, I feel pretty good about that. Because even though there is some hype about May with Washington, I feel like Daniels is going to be the guy. There you go. Now, the Vikings, they do trade up here, and, you know, Sims got into trade comp. I'm sure it's three first-rounders and some change. Uh, but the Vikings, they trade up to three, but not for Drake May. They take J.J. McCarthy at three. Now, Sims is famous for only watching the tape. That's how he does his evaluation, only watches the tape. Now, Drake May's 2023 tape, highly erratic. And that's a function of the new OC, uh, lack of talent around him. Uh, his offensive line is very poopy. Also, definitely missed Josh Downs, who went to the NFL, playing for the Colts now. Uh, but it is what it is. And McCarthy, very efficient. He ran the offense. When he was asked to do things, he did them, especially on third down. And he led a very dominant team. And he did that uh, in 2022 as well. So the kid's a winner. Can't deny that. And also, uh, specifically for what the Vikings are looking, if they want a guy who can operate the offense and do everything within the framework of the offense, McCarthy is the guy. Now, if they want to roll the dice on someone who, if he pans out on his uh, sky-high ceiling, could be a true talisman in this league, Drake May would be the guy. All right, so that's the question. But also, the fact that Drake May falls down to 11, mm-hmm. <laughs> So you're giving up three first-round picks to go get McCarthy there, or you could stick and pick and take Drake, Drake May without giving up the future first and 23. That's tough. <laughs> that, that is super tough, man. Now, usually uh, on some of these mock drafts, it's the other direction, where it's May at three, and sometimes McCarthy matriculates his way down to 11. But if the Vikings make that move, they have to be sure that McCarthy is the guy. All right. And it's a gamble either way, but we'll see. Harrison to the Cardinals, all to the Chargers, neighbors to the Giants. I feel like that's pretty standard. Uh, Latham going to the Tennessee Titans, uh, bring some physicality to that offensive line. All right, so Brian Callahan, new new head coach, but of course the linchpin is uh, Bill Callahan, uh, who's one of the best offensive line coaches in the game. He's going to love Latham. All right. uh, Latham is Gronsky long term. I like it. Uh, Turner to the Falcons, uh, Latu to the Bears. Now, a little bit of a surprise because a lot of people expect the Bears like, oh, they're going to load up on weapons for Caleb Williams. Everflus is a defensive guy, and I, I feel like that 
They're not just going to go offense, offense. I, I just don't see the Bears doing that. Uh, Fatanu going to the Jets. If his medicals check out, he's good to go. May to the Patriots. I don't know, man. Nah, but but uh, a, a corridor of quarterbacks, Bo Nix to the Broncos, Penix Jr. to the Raiders. So six quarterbacks in the top 13 picks, almost half uh, of the top 13. Spicy, but I like it, and also is within the realm of possibility. Uh, Byron Murphy Jr. Uh, is off the board as the first defensive interior going to the Saints. Uh, Bowers? Wow. I, I wasn't even thinking about that, but Bowers getting all the way to the Colts. Anthony Richardson. Let's go. Let's go, man. Quinton Mitchell going to the Eagles. Uh, they, they make a, a maneuver there. Also the into the back half of the first round. So Wiggins goes to the Jaguars. Roma Dunze, slip and fall, and they can't get up. Goes all the way to the Bengals. What? Ridiculous. So you're replacing Tyler Boyd with Roma Dunze. Or, I mean, they could trade Higgins in this spot too, but that's ridiculous. I mean, Burrow's still going to get murdered because they have no offensive line, but that's ridiculous. Uh, Fawaga going to the Seahawks after they move back. Uh, Ola Fushanu going to, the Ra- uh, going to the Steelers. They definitely need help along the offensive line. Graham Barton to the Dolphins. I love that pick. Uh, he could be a guard replacing Hunt. He could be the center replacing Connor Williams. That's fantastic. Uh, Darius Robinson going to the, going to the Rams. I, I, I really like that pick a lot. And now everyone in the round is saying Johnny Newton, Johnny Newton, Johnny Newton. But I feel like Darius Robinson is a monster. I think Darius Robinson could be cut from the Chris Jones cloth. And Amaris Mims goes to the Patriots. So the Patriots uh, in the trade back with the Vikings end up with Drake May <laughs> and with Amaris Mims. So they got Mims and uh, on Wendy long term. It's great. Uh, Guyton goes to the Cowboys. Yeah, they, they definitely need to uh, look for Tyron's replacement. Cooper DeJong goes to the Packers, which Packers fans are going to love Cooper DeJong or Cooper DeJean, however you want to say it. I, I've said DeJean for so long that it's sort of morphed, so it's how I'm going to roll. Uh, but you can just hear it now. Uh, Coop. They're going to love Cooper. Uh, Jared Verse uh, going, to the, going to the Bucks. I kind of like that fit. I think that's fantastic. I think Bulls are going to do great things with Jared Burst, keeping him in state. Uh, Terry and Arnold uh, going to the Cardinals. So the, the Cardinals uh, with their first and second picks, Harrison Jr. and Terry and Arnold. Baby. Baby, you got a stew going. BTJ to the Bills. Uh, Chop makes his way into the first round to the Lions. So it's Chop and Hutch uh, long term. Uh, Don and Mitchell going to the Ravens because, I mean, Lamar needs more weapons. I mean. Sure. Uh, Roger Rosengarten. So he sneaks into the first round. I I think that's uh, the the major question surprise. uh, But the Niners, they definitely could use some freshening at right tackle. So could make sense there. And then also, yeah, Johnny Newton go to the Chiefs. I mean, so Johnny Newton and Chris Jones on the same D line. It's pretty damn good. It's pretty damn good, man. So overall, like, I mean, there's some surprising spots and some surprising falls, but also, I mean, you got to realize there's a finite number of picks. So there will be some very good players that take a tumble down the draft board, not because uh, of their talent. I mean, Adunze falling to 18, Taron Arnold to 27, uh, you know, BTJ to 28. Uh, it's not because of their talent, but it's because Certain teams have certain needs. Certain teams see the draft board a little bit different, and, and they take a tumble down. But, I mean, the Vikings won. I mean, that's if that's a decision, they got to be right. Right? So, I, I feel like everyone and their mom ha- has come to terms. Like, if they trade up three first-round picks and go get May, okay, you're betting on ceiling. But I, I feel like a lot of – like, I believe in McCarthy. I think that his skill set will translate to the NFL – uh, but, you know, the average, you know, Joe 12 pack will see McCarthy. Oh, you only had 18 passes in the national title game. How's that going to die? So it is a gamble. And also the fact that McCarthy is probably going to sit for a year. That means that people will have two years just to completely piss and moan uh, about trading up uh, for McCarthy. So I guess we'll see uh, what happens there. But uh, your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, Chris Sims, uh, mock draft 2024 Vikings make the move, but. Not for the guy that you're thinking of. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once more, the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.